Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at Debian package installation. Debian and Ubuntu have a powerful package management system. And with this, we admin, we can find, install, query and remove packages. The basic unit of Debian package management is a file with .deb extension. To install them or to manage them, we will do this with the tool called dpackage. I will first ask you to be root in order to manipulate packages. We can now list all the packages installed on the system with the package list. And now I will go to some place where I know I have a package. We see here I have a package which is the VirtualBox guest addition and we recognize it because it has a .deb extension. The package has first to be downloaded from somewhere. I downloaded it from the Debian website. So first what I want to see is to have some info about that package. So for this I use the package info on that package here. And we see here that I get information about the composition of the package, the version, the architectures it's going wind and some additional information. With this, I'm satisfied and we can see the content of a package. Now what I want to do, I will look if any package is already installed for the virtual box. For this, I use and I list packages which are called virtual something. We see that we sent a query and the answer is no package or matching our request. So we can now install it. For this I'm going to use the package, the option install that time, and I will give the name of the package I want to install currently reading the database and you see it went really fast and it was installed. Now I would like to remove some package so I'm going first to locate a package and the package I would like to remove is the one for Sudoku. So we see that the package GNOME sudoku is installed, so it's on this machine. So now I'm going to remove it and to do this I use the remove option and I give the name of the package. So we see here that we had the dependency error. We are now going to force the dependency to be removed also. And in that sense, we must be aware that forcing anything, you must be really cautious with what you are doing. You could be leaving a system in really an unstable situation. Sometimes with the package, you can also reconfigure certain packages. For this, you use dpackage-reconfigure and then the name of the package. So let's see. And you see here that uh, it is simply opening me the configuration for the time zone package. So this was just to, to show the possibility of reconfiguration once a package is installed. We can also see the statute of a package. By doing this, we do a dpackage status and here I'm going to look the status of the package called open SSH client. We see the size of the package that is installed, we see the maintainers of that package, we see the architecture and we see the source, the version and the different libraries. So these are informations now about the status of one package. We can list the files in one package 
and here we see all the, the files that were into the OpenSSH client. With the dash S or search option, it will let us search the installed file on disk via the database. So far so good. So I think that uh, we discovered the package, which is one of the method, one of the tool that is there to do package maintenance and installation. And we'll have now to dig into other ways like apt-get. And I wish you a good day. I hope this was useful. Don't forget, you liked it, you can sum up and you can also subscribe to my channel. So hope to see you soon and have a good day. Bye.